Specific high affinity interactions are inherently protective. In a prebiotic world, protected stable metabolic chemistries must have formed or become part of molecular assemblies that would be targets of selection during chemical or metabolic evolution. We saw one such assembly in the biofilm mineral complex that might have trapped alkaline vent emissions and that may have been the origin of a proton motive force that would drive metabolic selection. Let's look at some other candidates for semi-permeable enclosures that could have grown along with metabolic chemistries. We're going to be talking about some of these early compartments in the context of the general stickiness of things, that is the tendency of molecules to come together and stick to each other anyway. So let's look at these. Proteinoid microspheres and coacervates are self-assembled structures that, like the alkaline vent biofilms, could have trapped prebiotic metabolic chemistries. Proteinoid microspheres and coacervates shown here have some interesting properties in addition to being semi-permeable compartments. They include catalytic properties, an ability to accumulate environmental molecules, to get larger, to grow, and even to divide. These are obviously similar to other properties of life, aren't they? Liposomes, shown here, may not have formed prebiotically, but must have taken over from any membrane functions of earlier uh, protocell structures that might have been microspheres or coacervates. Pathways to increasingly sophisticated molecular communication and cellular complexity would likely have involved macromolecular aggregates like these. 